Ray J here with you for LA on Air, hanging out with Logan Fontner right here at Luna Live. How's it going? And uh, we're really excited for you guys. Y'all are working on something that I haven't seen done here locally. And um, of course, it's going to take place at Luna Live beginning Wednesday, June 25th. Yeah, this Wednesday. And tell us the times, tell us the details, please. Uh, it's slated to start at 8.30. It is Lake Charles' live album series, so it is me, uh, I'm kind of spearheading the thing, but I've got a core group of musicians, uh, Michael Kragic, Paul Gonsolin, Taylor Lee, um, Jeremy Boudreaux, Kevin Lambert, all guys that I know are stellar musicians um, to be a part of it. And the whole idea was to take guys that I've never got a chance to play with, or people that in the, in the music community that haven't got a chance to play with each other, to get together, kind of foster a community. Uh, and play music that we love, but also to play music in the way that it was kind of meant to be heard as a full idea. So you take these albums where it, they begin with one kind of feeling, you can follow the artist through the journey that they took to create the album, uh, and you miss all that just listening to singles. So the idea was to take the album, play it live, get the energy in the live feel going and kind of tell the story that the artist originally meant to tell. So I'm sure by now people are wondering, okay, well, what's the first album you guys are going to cover? So fill us in on that as well. Right. First album is Tom Petty's breakout album, Dan the Torpedoes. Uh, that's the album that Refugee was on, Don't Do Me Like That. Um, Louisiana Rain, which is a lesser known song, but a great ballad. Even the Losers, which I mean, another lesser known song, but one of my favorites. Um, and then some other ones that people probably haven't heard, but the whole album is just stellar all the way through. So, then, yeah. let me ask this. Was it difficult deciding what to start with? I mean, I, I can't imagine as a musician how many music artists come to mind, but, but let alone to actually choose the album to start with. It was difficult because there's, there's so many... There's so many albums and artists that I love spanning all kinds of genres. So there's country, rock, uh, even metal, like just music I love. But the idea to get it started is to pick albums that are classic, that do well across the board. That You know, it's hard to find people that don't like them. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to start with Tom Petty. He's kind of a no-brainer. The next album, or the next few albums, we're looking at doing Fleetwood Mac's Rumors. We're looking at doing Californication, the Chili Peppers, and uh, and then maybe on down the line doing more of a Motown feel, like trying to get some Marvin Gaye or Al Green, that kind of genre. So just, it's not just rock and roll or not just something, it's just good music that we're looking to perform for people. And so I have to ask this question as well. Uh, in doing something like this, with, with all of your schedules, because everyone you named, I know how busy they are. Uh, most of them are in two or three bands already. Yeah. <laughs> how is that coordinating all of this? I mean, I, obviously this sounds like one of those fun projects you wouldn't right. want to miss out on. Uh, but how is that getting it all coordinated with these guys? Uh, not as difficult as it sounds. Like, with the flamethrowers, I'm super busy. You know, it there's a lot of weekends that I'm not available, but there's also a lot of days here and there that I am during the week. And everybody has been very open and positive about making time to do it, which kind of is affirmation that it is a good idea and that musicians are one gonna, going to want to get involved in it. Um, the energy level, the excitement and everything is all there. It's an exciting thing. And hopefully in the future, uh, I'd like to do tryouts and kind of get... A, a big sheet of like 20 musicians to say okay we're going to pick this album these people are available I would, I think they're going to be the best fit for this kind of style of music I'll call them first and like again make a community of musicians who all know and work together all enjoy playing with each other and maybe you know maybe introduce two guys who just click and are the next big name in music I love it it's all lofty but you know you can, you can be a little New dreams. Of course. All right, so Wednesday, June 25th, uh, what time do you want them to actually get here? Do you want them to get here and hang out, drink a few? Doors are probably going to open at 6.30. Uh, the official start time is 8.30. Uh, depending on when people get here, it may be you know 8.45, but it's not going to start later than 9 o'clock. So yeah, come hang out. There's going to be 
uh, a projector showing old Tom Petty live concert footage. We have what I found on the internet, Tom Petty's favorite mixed drink. So we're going to be doing that as a drink special. There's going to be whatever beer specials too. But trying to make it a cool experience for people to meet each other, kind of get just a good positive thing going on. And that's what we love. We love to see people in our community stepping up to plate and, and bringing new things to our area. And I'm happy that you guys did it. Uh, when you talk about people who, who really are uh, involved or who can, can bring out a crowd, you named, you know, if, if I had to sit down and name the, the top musicians, you named them. Uh, so the fact that you're able to get all of them on board with this project and then it's a fun one at that, I really think that's awesome. Right. All right, so of course they can find you on Facebook and I know that you have uh, an event page for each event that you're going to do, but you also have a main page on Facebook, so you can just tell us that information so we can follow. Right. The page is Lake Charles Live Album Series. Um, that's it. Find us on Facebook. I'm, all, I'm going to be posting all of the albums coming up. If you'd like to get involved, you can send me a message through that or my personal, Logan Fontenot. And um, can't guarantee to anybody that they will be a part, but I'm open to at least listen try to get you involved somehow there it is thank you so much to logan fontenot of course we'll see you this wednesday for the lake charles live album series right here at luna live ray j here with you for la on air check out all the details at heybrayj.com